Hi, and welcome to ePython Lab. In this lesson, you'll be uh, able to learn and understand the difference between uh, processing list, uh, list using for loop and list compression. Uh, list compression. Uh, list compression in Python is uh, an easy and compact syntax for creating a list from a string or another list. So uh, list compression offers a shorter uh, syntax when you want to create a new list based on the values of an existing list. So that is uh, uh, what uh, list compression means. And it is a very concise way to create a new list by performing an operation on each item in the existing list. So based on, uh, for example, uh, based on the list of numbers, we wanted to uh, uh, create a new list which contains the square of the numbers of each number in a list. The first thing that comes in my, uh, my mind would be uh, using for loop, creating that list using for loop. But the best and shortest way is uh, creating uh, the new list uh, from that existing list using list comparison. So we will see that uh, using example. Uh, first of all, let's uh, solve this problem with, uh, without list comparison with uh, using for loop. And we will see the difference uh, between the uh, two solutions using loop or uh, using without uh, list compression and with uh, list compression. Uh, uh, in this example, uh, then uh, there are a list of uh, integer numbers in this list, which is assigned to the nums list of numbers. And uh, we are going to create a new list that uh, appends the square of the numbers uh, from a list into a new list. So our result uh, would be uh, a list of numbers of the square of the numbers from the existing uh, lists. For example, from the first items uh, from this list, uh, we create a new item, the square of uh, three the square of three, that is nine. All right, to process this uh, uh, list, we are going to use a for loop because uh, uh, this, uh, we, uh, we uh, so this kind of uh, sol uh, solution uh, comes to my, uh, my mind and uh, solve using uh, the for loop. Okay, for every number in a uh, list of numbers here, and uh, we append the square of that number into the new list, MPT list. We have created a uh, MPT list here and we append uh, that uh, number, the square of that number in a new list and we will uh, get a new uh, list. So we can uh, see the result of this uh, new nums. So the result would be a new, uh, list of numbers of a square of the existing uh, list of numbers. So that is uh, the square of three is nine, the square of four is 60, the square of five is 25, the square of six is uh, 36, the square of uh, two is four, and the square of three is uh, nine as well. But uh, this way of solving this kind of problem is uh, not, uh, faster than. So what we are going to do uh, is we are going to use list compression to solve this kind of problems rather than using uh, for loop. All right. However, Python has an easier way to solve this issue using list compression. List compression is an elegant way to define and create lists based on an existing lists. So the general syntax for uh, list compression is syntax is the uh, in a square bracket, we uh, define a for loop. For every item in a list, that uh, there will be expression here, that expression. So we are going to convert this uh, for loop into list compression. So the expression would be uh, the square of the number for every number in the list. 
or for for every item in the list. All right. Let's see how the above code can be written using list compression. Uh, the new uh, list is we create uh, we uh, just uh, open a square bracket and uh, we define the uh, expression. The expression would be the number uh, that would be the square of the number, square of the number. And for every uh, num in the uh, nums, nums uh, is the list of numbers, which contains the list of numbers. We just uh, convert that into this. So the expression would be the square of the number for every number in the list of numbers. So the for loop would be uh, uh, here for every num in the list of uh, numbers and the expression would be this one so this is the expression and the for loop is this so we have created a new list from the existing list based on the expressions based on the expression we use in this list all right we can uh, see the results the result would be the same the result would be the same so that's the right so which which one is best way to create uh, this kind of uh, uh, to solve this kind of problems. So you can uh, easily identify. So you can write a single line of code rather than a uh, multiple line of code because uh, it is uh, faster than, it, it takes time to uh, execute every uh, line of code uh, rather than uh, executing a single line of code. So uh, this compression is considerably uh, faster than uh, processing a list using a for loop. So that is one solution. This is one. So we, I recommend uh, using uh, list compression rather than uh, for loop to process or to create a new list uh, from the existing list or strings. Uh, we can also use if, if a statement in the list compression. We can uh, also use uh, if a statement conditional statement uh, and or every uh, statement is, uh, in the list compression. Uh, list compression can utilize conditional statements to modify existing list or other uh, tuples. Tuples, we can also use other tuples in the list compression. Uh, based on a list of fruits, here we have an example. Based on a list of fruits, we wanted to create a new list containing only the fruits with the letter N in the, in the name of that fruit. The first thing that comes in my mind would be using the for loop, but the easiest way to, and fastest way to solve this kind of problem is using list compression, uh, uh, mixing with uh, the conditional statements as well. All right. Without list compression, we will have to write a for statement with a conditional test inside that for loop. Fruit, uh, let's uh, create a list which is, contains a list of uh, fruits, a list of fruit names, apple, banana, orange, mango, avocado, ananas, strawberry. By, call, by the way, this uh, list of uh, uh, fruits are my favorite fruits. I every day eat those uh, fruits. They are very, very uh, uh, tasty. Okay, so we can uh, solve this uh, problem using for loop. Uh, just uh, create an empty list that going to uh, contain a list of a new uh, listers for every fruit in the fruits from this uh, if n is the character n is in fruit in a single item for example uh, the first item is apple apple uh, n is in the apple that uh, would be appended to the new list uh, if it is not so that will be uh, uh, not appended that is the else part of that uh, condition. Uh, let's see the uh, run this. Uh, I mean, uh, first let's run this and uh, let's run 
it and let's try to see the output new fruits so the new fruits which contains uh, n characters in the name of the list of uh, fruits are banana orange and is uh, in the orange mango mango is also there and is also there ananas so those are the list of uh, fruits which contains n characters in their name so this is we use conditional uh, statements inside the for loop but uh, rather than using the for loop we can uh, use list compression to solve this problem all right let's see the above code with list compression new fruit fruit let's create a list compression that is uh, fruit for fruit in fruits if the if statement is comes after the for loop not before the for loop if the character n is in fruit let's check let's run this new fruit fruits that's the same result we got the same result with the upper but which one is the fastest way this list compression the fastest way to solve this uh, problem we have mentioned the upper all right uh, so uh, rather than using for loop uh, to solve this kind of uh, problems especially if you develop a, a big programs uh, you can use list compressions to solve uh, to uh, program your uh, project easily so we can also implement compression mechanisms other than lists uh, like dictionary uh, and set so not only for list uh, we can also use uh, list compression mechanism to solve uh, uh, dictionary and uh, uh, set as well. So this is about list compression. If you have any question or suggestion, you can uh, put your in the comment box of this video, as well as you can ask in the uh, Telegram channel. Thanks for watching.